Start recording. Wait. Yeah, come off strong, dude. Welcome back to Tarkov. Me and Seth are talking about pornography. <laughs> uh, to be more specific, we were talking about Swagger Souls and his yeah. um his idea for a porno called Shagger Holes. What would be the equivalent to R? Of R? Like if we... What is R? No, I'm talking about like if like if you and me like produce like a porn, what would it like? Because that's a play on his name. Two idiots in a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that's what God. it is. <laughs> that's horrible. I don't like it. Two, two idiots in a hole. Like I don't know why. What? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something better. The only thing that's coming to mind <laughs> that's better is like I don't know, two holes in an idiot or some shit. Two holes in a dick. Oh my god, that's a three-way porn. Nah, just two holes in an idiot. I love the idea. Two. Oh, okay, I can't do that joke. But there was um, this, I like the idea. There's like a family that watches this. Like, look, Billy, the new episode of Two Idiots in a Game came out, and then this is how we go off. We're two idiots and a pussy. Loading map. Loading map. He's loading the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. You know, he used to I'm annoy the map. me Dora. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. You it's like, why do you gotta announce like who you are? Yeah, it's like, we see... That you're a rolled up fucking piece of paper, you idiot. Yeah. And then, yeah, one episode, it's like, oh, it looks like a piece of toilet paper. And he just wipes his ass with it. And then it's, and then he's like, oh, no, I'm not toilet paper. I'm a map. <laughs> Can you find the shit stain that's on me? And then you gotta do that stupid door oh, thing where everyone horrible. looks at you. If you can make a cartoon, what would it be about? Um. I have no clue, I thought honestly. About this. What would you make yours about? Right for so it'd be it would be like aimed like a kids TV show, so it'd be like a third grader. <laughs> oh, yeah. But like, you ever seen the movie Brightburn? By any chance? This uh, is my I don't, I don't even think I've ever heard it. Well, it's just like a kid that gets superpowers, but he goes to mock and kills everybody. Oh shit! I was about to do a bong, so, right? But loading a loot. You're too classy for that. Oh wait, no, I'm I've still just got time. kidding. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's big kid that gets superpowers and just completely murders and like messes with people. It'd be on Adult Swim. Someone needs to replace Justin Roiland because apparently he assaulted a tough. No, he hit his wife. That's what it was. I believe. But Rick and Morty's still going on. They got to get the new, a new guy <laughs> in the booth. Rick and Morty, the guy who voices both. Oh, Rick that's and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't he also like the producer or some shit? Uh, he a <coughs> co-creator. It was basically his show, but now that's it's uh, right. But to say the least, uh, <coughs> not anymore. Just. And I don't. Think, <coughs> yeah. I did my first uh, radio show today on IUS Horizon. Oh yeah, how'd that go? It went really well. It was a lot of fun. What's funny is, because when I, I talk for like 15 minutes, when I get like a water break, I just play a song, and I get to pick the song. It's like, anytime I'm not talking, I'm just listening to dope music. It's like... More reasonable. I talked about Seth's favorite topic in the world, sports. If you went to Seth's room, he has nothing but commanders, memorabilia, and jerseys, and footballs, and helmets. Funny thing, I don't think yes, I sir. own a single piece of uh, <laughs> sports memorabilia. Besides, uh, maybe like a couple things from Arnhart Jr. But I don't know if you count racing as a sport. Uh, 
That's one of the questions where if you say yes, everyone freaks out that it's not. And if you say no, like the 10 people be like, NASCAR is the best competitive sport. Like they turn to Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, like, I don't really, I don't particularly see it as a sport. It's more What's the skill. Yeah, yeah, you're turning left for an hour. But he, what kills me is, um, and you can respectfully disagree with me, I do not care. It's like you ever hear the, the age old question if cheerleading's a sport or something like that? Competitive cheerleading, yes. But just regular com- um, cheerleading? No. <laughs> I I thought about this. Okay. So I did marching band. And marching band is not a sport, just FYI. But for some reason, you could get varsity jackets for marching band in my high school. Oh, no. You, so that's just little- all of them. <clears throat> They would let you get varsity yeah. if you were in like clubs, I believe is what it was. Still, at least at my it's school. Just like, it's just funny to see a dude in a varsity jacket have like a trumpet on it. It'd be the funniest thing you've ever seen in your life. Um, but the, uh, that was very common at my school, surprisingly. Well, well, well cheerleading, cheerleading, it's like it. Cheerleading is borderline like dancing, and you'll never change my mind on it. At least it follows the same principle. And well, dance, and same thing with. Uh, well, actually, hold on. Yeah, keep, keep going, keep going. Because oh, so I'd got... also like to know how you view dancing. Because, like. So, exactly. Yeah. So, marching man is a combination of a form of like dance and marching and music, which is an art form. Dancing is an art form. And if cheerleading follows the same borderline structure. Well, it's not a sport. Uh, okay, it's an so art. It depends on how it is done because dancing can be done in a competitive way, which then can uh-huh. make it more or less a sport. Because sports are something that is um, not easy to do, but is trivia is a sport by that rule? Um. Trivia, no, because that would just be, that's just memory at that point, honestly. (laughs) I mean, so, like, I guess it, I guess it could be considered, like, a mental sport, maybe, but you also have the different kinds, so, in my opinion, cheerleading is not really a sport if done... As like competitive cheerleading, hardcore competitive cheerleading, then yes, because it is more like a sport in that sense, because you have to be so perfect with how you do everything. Like, I don't know. I just see I both sides on that part. <laughs> yeah, if it's ch- cheerleading, squ- like squad on squad competition. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. a sport. But if you're like at a basketball game and they're off to the side and you're like, no, Fuck. that's not a sport. You're just cheerleaders. <laughs> I will say as much as some people will have a gripe with that, I will say, uh, I don't think I would let anyone toss me and spin me in the air in a 360. I had a, Ooh, I had a girl in my Spanish class junior year. She was a freshman. And she was, I've had 10 concussions from cheerleading. I'm like, how are you alive? And, oh, fuck. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> We'll be real Itchy trigger finger. But I don't know. Oh, yeah, I will say though, my high school did suck because we had a, the school dance squad called the Dazzlers, and they would always address them as the world famous Dazzlers because they won like one competition in like 1985. I'm like, oh yeah, world famous. So people in Ethiopia are really yearning for the new Dazzler meet. But I will say, no one picked on cheerleaders or had any stigmas, but Dazzlers, those were the sluts in my school. Interesting. Honestly, you know what? What did they do? Keep, keep, uh, one girl. Oh my god, dude, I got stories. Oh my god, I forgot all about this stuff. But also, for some reason, also the chess team. There was one girl who was known to get around, should I say. And I'm not slut-shaming people. I'm just telling you stories. There's nothing wrong with being a slut. I mean, but uh, nothing. Yeah. God dang! It. This girl had a nickname, but I can't say it without telling you her name because it like rhymed with her name. I'll tell you in between episodes. Gotcha. But uh, 
Yeah, she was just known for blowing dudes. Like that's like that's just it. Like, um, no one like in the locker room at someone's house. One time in the cafeteria in like middle school, which blew everyone's mind, pun intended. Oh wow. Not like dead. She was, yeah, she wasn't like just like they're in the middle, and he's like, "All right, here we go." It was like, like middle school was so weird. Like the trash cans were like in a different room, but like the doors were propped open. You could like go to the left and go around a corner. It was like in there. Taking your gun right away. That no, that's stealing. Don't you want to work hard for your stuff? He's like, no. Um, it's kind of what this game's about. No, it's not. You can be, di- <laughs> you can be different. Save the world. <laughs> I've had. Have you ever had that talk? The you can be different talk. Uh, sure. like, why are you getting into fights? Because <laughs> uh, he's. He's making fun of me. You know how many people respond with violence? So many people. You can be different. I'm like, but I don't want to. I want him to get, you know, the five finger I death want punch. To beat the no. shit out of him. <laughs> Correct. People don't understand. Oh, so I also love too when like you're in elementary school and it's like, uh, every child's unique. You're all special in your own right. It's like, no, we're not. We're all scumbags to one degree or another. Get off your high horse, Samantha. Get to the extract. Extract my penis from your mouth. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm thinking out loud more or less. No, dude, you if you've paid attention to anything I've been saying. Yeah, more or less. Okay, cool. You, You'll watch you it talk, back and have a laugh. I was gonna say you talked about the the one girl and then you said something about a penis a second ago. A little Paying too much attention to that statement, honestly. Well, you said I get to the extract, and I said, well, you can extract my penis from your mouth, oh, that's to right. which you didn't yeah. respond. Well, could, what am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, R- Roger that. <laughs> yes, okay. sir. Okay. God dang. I will say, some people who, all the jokes I make towards Seth, Everyone at work loves it now. Yep. Like, it's oh my funny. god. Oh, did I tell you one of the managers said, did she made the joke about you last night? No, I don't think so. She, she made like a really just like a feminine joke. Like when you left, you're like, bye guys. You do like the hair flip and you're like, bye Josh. Oh no, I said I'd, I'll talk to you tomorrow. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, and then she like, she like made it so more flirtatious than it should have been. Yeah. Oh my god, she she almost broke my fingers last night. How have I not told you that? What? Oh my god. Uh, episode's almost over, so we'll save it. Yeah, hold on. I didn't let her, but she was about to take action. I was gonna be like, "You're gonna break my fingers, lady." Wow. Got some real smart managers, don't we? Apparently. Oh, yeah, and someone at work gave me a Christmas card yesterday. Yesterday? <laughs> yes. Well, then. I'm like, sorry, I forgot to give you this. So I'm like, okay. But, but, like, it wasn't really, like, specified. It was just, like, a Christmas card. Well, then. And I threw it away. <sighs> and I feed you. And time's a waste to go. So where you go until tomorrow when I see that these are last to come. So would you even care? God, that's a good song. We sing that way too much. That and uh, Let It Die. Let it die, let it die, <laughs> let it triple up and die. Well, if I was restraining myself and you went ahead and did it. 
Yeah, it cuts to you like forehead vein thickening. Like, I want to say it. Bag of bomb. Next time on Tarkov, he's been Seth. He's been Josh.